Okay, so now we have things going here. What I want to show in this video is some of the amazing Git features. For instance, right now this app is not being tracked. We do have a .git ignore already here, but we do not have any repo initialized. Now one of the cool things about this application is that we can come in here and simply just, you'll notice by clicking on this logo over here, which is our source control, you could choose your source control. Ours is currently set to Git. Uh, that's the only thing we have installed. And we can just click initialize repository. Now by clicking initialize repository, it's basically uh, showing us all of the tracked and untracked files. Now what we could do is we maybe want to start adding and tracking some files. So if we want to stage all of our changes, we could just click this plus. And if there are anything we don't want in there, we could always click this minus. What it's giving is it's a beautiful interface for all of our different changes in Git files, right? So at this point, everything has been added. There's nothing here that I don't want to add. Uh, no settings or something like that that shouldn't be made public. And what I want to do is type a message, which is just initial. And after having a commit message, I can just click this checkbox or of course, command enter like it says here and it commits. And just like that, all of these files are being tracked. So now what's interesting is that without us doing anything, let's see when I make modifications to this file and I save it, you can now see that app.js has an M next to it as it's been modified. So we didn't have to do anything and, and Git features are, are right in here, right? We didn't have to do anything for this. Now let's say we wanted to change this. Um, we can add in a, just a new constant variable down here. Const name test is equal to hi. I'm obviously gonna delete this later because this code is for another series, but you can see we have this being added here. And now it's the fun part. We can actually, let's say, we wanna see what changed from the last commit to this file. Maybe something went wrong here, the code's not working. We knew it worked in the last commit. So I can click this open changes right here, which is in the top right. Now let's close the Git menu over here. And brilliantly, we have this beautiful interface for sort of seeing what's changed here. You can see I added a line right here. In addition, I added this line. Now this is in addition to just being really cool, it's a great way to see exactly face to face what's going on in your files. We can even toggle through next change and previous change. That way I can go through and maybe delete something if I need it. Now I can close this and you'll notice it gets rid of that entirely. Now we want to commit this change. We simply just come to our tab here and we can say adds test var, okay, control enter and it committed. Now one really cool thing is we can actually branch our code really nicely too, simply by coming down here. You'll notice we now have this master, which wasn't there before. So we can check out a new branch directly from here. And let's say we don't have a new branch. Let's say we wanted to have staging. You'll notice it's not going to let us do this. So how do we add a new branch? Well, we can come in here, click these three dots in our source control, and you'll see we still don't have any sort of branching stuff here. So, so where could it, this be? Well, one thing you'll notice about this particular application is that you'll access a lot of stuff through what would be this actions menu where we can do shift command P. And now I can say git, and you'll see all of these different uh, different Git functions in here, right? Pretty much anything we need to do will be inside of here. And that's not even just for Git, that's for VS Code entirely. So Command Shift P is a command you're gonna wanna learn to use a whole lot. Now from this point, Checkout 2 is going to be the same as just clicking on this. What we wanna do is create branch. We can have a new branch, which is going to be staging. Enter. Now you'll see we have our staging branch. I can make some changes to this code. I can come in here. I can jump quickly between our two branches. 
by selecting master here. We're now in the master branch. What's beautiful about this is, is VS Code is always going to tell you what branch you're on. So that's really super nice. Now let's go ahead and make a change to the staging. I'm going to simply delete this test variable. I'm going to delete this line. I'm going to save this file and say removes test var. Okay. We can click the checkbox. Now I want to move this into our master branch. So let's head to master by clicking the word staging, then select master. Now I'm in the master branch. You can see our files are back and we could come in here and do command shift P and do git and let's look for merge. It's not in here. So one of the bummers here is that we don't have access to git merge. Now there's a couple of ways around this. We could open up our terminal and we could do so by using control and then the tilde. And you can see we have our terminal here where we could notice that we're on the master branch. And from here, we could always just type our git merge and then the staging. And as you can see, if we close this control tilde, it's gone. So just like that, um, it's a bummer that VS Code does not have built-in merging tools because all of the other Git stuff is so solid, right? Like, I mean, just to have a Git merge in here would be really just super nice. But what's cool about VS Code is that when it doesn't have something like that, and, you know, I mean, that's something you could do via terminal anyways. We could always just do control tilde, open up our terminal, and get it done the old-fashioned way. So certainly a bummer there that the uh, the interface doesn't have a git merge, but having access to the terminal works really, really nicely instead. Okay, so these are some of the git features in VS Code. Now in another video, I'm going to be going over some extensions to make the git features even better, like a git gutter type of thing, and a few more things where we can see the history of all of your files and merges and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of stuff that is really nice with VS Code extensions and git. So keep watching as we continue to explore some of VS Code's best features as we dive into more extensions, theming, key bindings, and more. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video. Hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to help support free tutorials, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and check out what premium and paid series we have available there. And or you could become a Level Up Pro and get access to a whole bunch of stuff that is not available on YouTube. A bunch of really high quality series, including Meteor and React for Everyone, both parts one and two. We're two, we dive into all of the intermediate stuff going on with Media and React and a brand new React Native series that is coming very soon. So keep your eyes open for that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.